and we're back with another Pico CTF challenge flags in the cryptography section. Description, what do the flags mean? And our hint, the flag is in the format Pico CTF. I've already downloaded this image. Let's pull it over here and let's take a look at it. And we can see we have a series of different images and we have the curly brackets so we expect this to be Pico CTF curly brackets and then some text. I took a look at this image and I checked it for metadata using EXIF tool and I also looked for things like steganography images or any data. I didn't find anything. So I began working with what I knew. Ignore the bottom for now, which is I think this has to be Pico CTF. And we can see on elements like the C, C is repeated twice, and the images that are present look to be the exact same in both cases. So this looks like a, a substitution type deal. And so I, I carried this F and I replaced these red diamonds and the T and then we're stuck. So what I did was I brought over this version of the alphabet and I started placing the flags based off what was present. So for example, I took the C and I put it over the C column. I took the F, put it over the F. And I was trying to look for patterns. I was trying to look for something where it was like, well, you know, every three you change colors or you change the shape or something like that. Anything repeatable based off of where the thing fell in the alphabet. So for example, C and P are directly across from each other meaning they're 13 apart or halfway through the alphabet. Maybe that has some special relationship. Uh, I'm going to cut it short and tell you I didn't find anything. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was not able to solve this without looking at hints. And that's always frustrating. Uh, I want to share it because it can be tempting to think, oh, you know, these guys presenting solutions, they just know everything. Now, sometimes we're looking up solutions too. Here's what I wish I had done before I looked up the solution now. You know, as with everything in tech fields, you should always Google it. And I'm not sure how many of you are aware, but Google has a feature called uh, image search, which works just like you'd expect. So if you were to search for something like this, you'd have to describe it as like half yellow, half red with a diagonal line in it. And you just, you wouldn't get a good result in all likelihood. So instead, let's use the image search and let's see what we can get. So we'll upload the image. And the, the dictionary, that's probably not a good answer. Neither is this vertical.com. So let's look under visually similar images and we see code programming python and also code signals boat flags so that seems very interesting let's take a look at that let's open it up the purpose of international code of signals flags and as we go down we can see a whole bunch of different flags that look very similar to what we have over there so in particular, that checkerboard pattern I see right here. And as we scroll down, we can find the signal set, which would be nice because we'll be able to look at all of them. Let's open this image. And what we can see, if you noticed earlier, I should have highlighted this, sorry. You see each one of them, this is the Charlie Yes flag. This is a hotel pilot on board flag. Charlie and hotel are both part of the military alphabet. So Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, uh, Delta, Kilo, all of those. 
So these all have a letter or number meaning, which we can begin to translate. And it is really boring. I started doing this while recording, trying to translate all these. So I'm not going to do that to you. Instead, I'm just going to say most of these work, but we're still missing things like this X. This X is nowhere to be found. So let's go ahead and let's Google this and see if we can't get a little further. As we go down, we see a nice grid that tells us the different letters. And we're looking for this X. We see one in blue. More blue X's, red X, still looking. And if we continue to look, we'll find there are different things for NATO, for example. And NATO has this uh, blue X. So uh, I realize it's hard. It's hard to make trivia type questions, right? Like I, I always think when I watch Jeopardy that a trivia show is, is the hardest kind of show to make because you have to make the questions easy enough that a general audience can get some of them, but hard enough so that they don't get all of them because then they feel good about it. So like if you knew these, then you'd think, hey, what a cool problem. If you don't know these, you think, what a random piece of bullshit. And you know, that's just the way some of these are gonna end up. Anyway, that was the problem. Hopefully I gave you a sense of how to look something like this up potentially, other than just hope and pray that you know the random thing they're using. And hopefully this was useful to you. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.